I'm Tom Kelly, and this is Beetle Talk. Are you familiar with the concept of the fifth beetle? Now, I don't mean when there were actually five beetles before Stu Sutcliffe left the group. No, I mean someone so important or influential that they could be considered an honorary beetle, a fifth beetle, if you will. The origin goes back to when the Beatles first arrived in America in 1964. The birth of Beatlemania was covered so enthusiastically by New York City disc jockey Murray the K that he himself felt that he should be crowned fifth Beatle for his tireless promotion of the whole event. Since then, numerous musicians, business associates, and friends of the Beatles have all been mentioned as a fifth Beatle. A couple of interesting suggestions come from the Beatles themselves. George Harrison had put forth Beatles publicist and friend Derek Taylor, while Paul McCartney actually had two recommendations, manager Brian Epstein and producer George Martin. I suppose I would vote for George Martin, whose musical contributions had such an enormous impact on their songs and recordings. But who do you think could be the fifth Beatle? I'm Tom Kelly, and this has been Beatle Talk.